Okay, good morning and welcome to Youth Commons. I'm Kate and today I am joined by Rio and Megan. Hello. Hi. Okay, so first article for today. Um, it's mine and I've chosen it from the Saturday Independent. And it is about Britain's strictest head teacher and why she sent home 200 pupils this week. Apparently, it was about uniform. Hmm? Stuff like wrong earrings or wrong shoes. What do you think? I just think that it's a bit ridiculous to send people home because surely that's disrupting their learning when they're saying that if they're wearing the wrong uniform, they're distracting other people's learning. But being at school, I don't notice if another person's got red hair or big earrings or something. It's only you notice it now when you're like, it's not fair that they've got it and we're not allowed it. Yeah, but yeah. also, look at her smile. It looks like she's really proud of her achievement of spending, of sending 200 students home and making them miss out lessons like, yay, day off. Okay, so I think that's my article pretty much wrapped up. Now, over mm -hmm. to Megan. Okay, so my topic for today is from The Independent and it's on F-rated films. And this is about um, them being femini feminist. So if the director's a female um, or if it's got really strong feminine views. And this was used at um, this week's Bath Film Festival. But really, what's the point of it? It's completely sexist. I mean, what I don't understand is why I haven't F-rated anyway, because surely like, the rating system is to stop people going to see it who aren't of a certain age or... So if you're having an F-rated film, does that mean that men aren't allowed to go and see it? So they might end up with like a more irrational discrimination of sorts. Thank you, Megan. For my topic, I have chosen from the North Devon Journal. Celebrities asked to donate underwear for cancer cause. Well, if you go down to the local Barnstable Ewings anytime soon, you'll see that it is literally dripping in underwear. Of course, it's all helping to outline awareness for breast, breast cancer, cancer research. Yeah. And I think it's working. More and more people are donating towards the breast cancer charities. I think it's good that this isn't actually donate money to look for a cure for cancer. This is to raise awareness so people can actually get treated for breast cancer. So they don't just say, I won't go to the doctor this because it might not be so serious. But they actually do go to the doctor, get it sorted out before something bad actually happens. I think it's a great way to use celebrity endorsement as well. Oh, that's yeah. what they have used. They've used the word celebrity, which will get people more interested in it. OK, that's all we've got for you today. Some pretty interesting articles, I'm sure you agree. Thank you very much, Megan and Rio, for coming tonight. All right. Um, hope you enjoy it. You have been watching Youth Common, and goodbye. <laughs> La 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 la